here in the Metroplex, Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget. Big rain event, and it continues through this night. That's right there, Doug. It's been a cold rain for the majority of North Texas. Our temperatures really struggled to warm their way into near the 40 degree mark in some spots. Officially at DFW, reaching 39 degrees, and this morning, 37. We picked up more than an inch of rain at DFW and still adding on to that. Want to show you the temperatures right now? We have 40 at Love Field, 40 in Terrell, to 42 in Corsicana. Further to the west, we have 34 in Mineral Wells, Graham 32, and Breckenridge 33. So right near that freezing. Mark is where we're starting to see some rain maybe switch in, switch over to a little bit of freezing rain or seeing some sleet mixing in. When you factor in the wind, it feels like 18 in Wichita Falls to 24 in Denton to about 30 in McKinney to 28 in Fort Worth. So we're dealing with a breezy night. If you are planning New Year's Eve, going to be out and about for some reason, uh, it's going to be a cold one. 40 to 39 degrees, getting very close to the midnight hour. Rain shots around 50 50 shot for us. I think it will be a cold rain continuing. Right around the Metroplex, west of the DFW area, maybe seeing some of that mixing in with a little bit of that freezing rain. Latest look at the radar shows some of the heaviest rain now has made its way into parts of Oklahoma. We're seeing a small little break, but also more rain filtering back in. So it won't be a completely dry night. We'll see rounds of rain moving through out to the west, Abilene, down to near Mason, near Brownwood, seeing that snow that is continuing to fall, even Wichita Falls, seeing that mix of rain and snow. This is all with the upper level low that's going to track overhead. And as that moves overhead, yes, the cold air is going to be wrapping around that. And we are going to be seeing as well our temperatures that are going to be holding in the upper 30s. For some reason, this graphic's not working. Let me see if I can pop it back up here. There it is. I just had to move past it and come back. Of 48 hours, we've seen more than five inches of rain in some spots of North Texas. The further west you go, not as much rain, maybe some freezing rain mixing in. So near Love Field, about two and a half inches of rain. All right, we talked about winter weather alerts, winter weather advisory until six in the morning. That does include Wise County, Parker County, Hood, Somerville, and then out to the west, winter storm warning in effect until six in the morning. All the areas in pink. So the areas in pink, the further west you go, three to six inches of snow possibly accumulating. The purple area where we have the winter weather advisory, maybe one to two inches of snow accumulating uh, and once we see that cold air wrap its way around. Let's watch that with the future cast. I know it's a lot to get through for tonight, but you notice our temperatures don't change too much near the 10 to 11 o'clock hour. But you notice we start to see maybe some of that cold air inching its way to the 35 corridor or close, maybe west sides of Denton County to Parker County. We might see some freezing rain mix in. And then into the overnight hours, we'll see some of that rain and maybe some snow try to rotate its way on through before then we finally dry out going into Friday afternoon. So some drizzle around for the first day of 2021. And we warm back up by Saturday and Sunday. The sunshine returns. We'll see mostly sunny skies. We thaw out a bit more going into next week. By next Tuesday, 65 degrees and that sunshine, it's going to be nice to see. It continues.